He's bothering all these people just to eat. Coco Jean. Just leave. Please just Coco Jean. I will say a lot of foreigners do look down on Japanese as far as Japanese are not known for being tough or being assertive. So when people do things like this, they Konnichiwa Minasan, Kyo desu. A foreigner in Japan is playing loud music at Starbucks, causing a disturbance to the people. That's the video I'm going to react to today, but before that, guys, just make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. He's bothering all these people, just leave. Coco Jean. Just leave. Please just Coco Jean. This is, this is really unacceptable. This is unacceptable now. You're just, you're He's bothering not in your face. You want my headphones? I'll give you my headphones. You want my headphones? What? No one's doing anything to you, man. No, you report me. Because you are, you are really causing all these people. Okay? And you're, I say that to a well, you don't have no music, there's music playing. So you don't hear music playing? I get shot. No one did anything to you. I ain't do nothing to you. You're playing music and you're yeah, bothering people. Playing, you're playing, making playing, threatening playing, gestures. There's music playing. It's unacceptable, man. Threatening gestures. You pull that camera out as a threatening gesture. I, I took the camera out. Too, I took the camera, camera out because it's unacceptable behavior, okay? I'm going to f*** good about my behavior, bitch. Things like this really really piss me off. This man is rude and clearly has no home training. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that playing loud music in certain environments are not permitted or at least they're not ethnical. And I say this as a black American who grew up in black culture. If this guy is American, which I believe he is because he's talking like a black American, a huge problem that we have as black people in America is that we are very selfish in how we interact with other people. And this is not just black people, of course, but I am black and I'm speaking about the culture I grew up in. If you're a Japanese person, if you criticize Japanese people, it's because you grew up with Japanese people. So I'm not pointing out black people as the enemy. I'm just stating something that I, I observed from living in black culture. They don't care about what other people think. And I hate that so many times when I go out, oftentimes when you find someone being loud and disruptive, it tends to be a certain kind of black person. And you don't even have the decency to understand you're in a, di a different country, you're playing loud music in a country in which that's not socially acceptable. And the workers are telling you to stop and you don't wanna stop. And then an, Amer an American has to step in, which I'm glad he did, to tell him what you're doing is wrong and he still didn't want to listen. And he claimed that he was, you know, confronting him or in his face, but he was he wasn't even really that close to him. But not only that, of course he's recording because you're sounding very threatening. He's just responding to the energy you're giving out. And this is what I mean by when you travel abroad, represent your people, represent the country you come from. Because things like this can give a very negative view of foreigners, but not only foreigners, black people in general. And again, it's not all black people, but you have a lot of ignorance, ignorant people like him who are from America and who live in America. And they make me and other blacks like myself look bad because people will think that this is, represent, this is a representation of all black people. And if you guys don't know me, I, I just don't like when people act unfair or they act stupidly. And there's many times in my life where I've been on the public train or I've been in places and I've had to tell people, hey, relax, chill, it ain't that serious, can you stop? Because things like this really get my blood boiling. And I will say this as a final note, I will say a lot of foreigners do look down on Japanese as far as Japanese are not known for being tough or being assertive. So when people do things like this, they know they can get away with it because of how quote unquote peaceful or non-confrontational 
Japanese are. And I'm just saying from right now, as more foreigners are entering Japan, Japanese people need to know how to put their foot down and to say enough is enough. Because he couldn't do this in other African or other European countries where the men would confront him and tell him like, yo, you gotta stop. I think that's one aspect of Japanese people that needs to be changed, that they're not just people you can run over and trample over. Like, I wish that Japanese wouldn't have that reputation of people that you can bully because they're either smaller in stature or because they're very peaceful people. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, I was very annoyed. I'm very, I'm still annoyed right now because I hate things like this. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you guys found this video interesting, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Until, arigatou gozaimasu, mina. Kiyosukete. Jane.